our daily personal devotional time with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome back to Morning Dew. What a blessing it is to have you here fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit first thing in the morning. Well, we're looking at the deadly poison of the tongue, the deadly poisons of the tongue. And today we're going to look at the poison of lies. <laughs> the poison of lies. Now, one of the effects of lies, maybe unknown to many people, is how that lying hardens your heart. Lying hardens your heart. Beloved, lying is a dangerous folly. I'm smiling because it's too hot to handle. <laughs> it hardens your heart. Lying, beloved, is a dangerous folly because what happens when you enter that enterprise of lying is that you gradually believe your own lies. This is what is called self-deception because this leads you now to the next damaging effect of a lying tongue which is a hardened heart. In James 1.22, the Bible calls it deceiving your own self deceiving your own self so now from the stage of self deception liars graduate into the deadly condition which is known as hardness of heart in hebrews 3 the verse 8 the bible says harden not your hearts do not harden your heart. Many people are invited to church. They sit under the anointing. They hear the word of God. But the truth is that they do not respond or change their lives. Preach all you want to preach teach all you want to teach they will not make changes they will not respond so although some people are not born again they convince themselves that they are Christians gradually what that deception does is you develop the deadly condition known as hardness of heart this is beloved a stage where god can no longer reach you you've deceived yourself to the point that god can no longer reach you if you remember god tried to reach pharaoh indeed god tried harder than he had tried with many human beings he tried every method. He sent Moses. He sent Aaron. These were preachers. These were pastors, prophets, men of God. They were also miracle workers who performed miracles of healing, miracles of supernatural lies, flies, and frogs. All these just to convince one man. All these just to convince one man. Beloved, God is doing so much to convince you of something. You are unable to see that because of 
the condition of your hardened heart. Yes, you sit in church. Yes, you say preach on. Yes, you say too hot to handle. Yes, you say, why are you shouting? You do. But the truth is that you are hardened. At one point, God had to kill every firstborn of the Egyptians before Pharaoh would listen to reason. You see, by the time God finished trying to convince one man, he had destroyed a whole nation. In other words, the condition of a man's heart is what destroyed a whole nation. And even after God had destroyed the whole nation, Pharaoh was still not fully converted. Beloved, it is dangerous to hear truth, to hear the truth and lie to yourself that what you are hearing is not true. I'm going to say what I said again in case you are pretending that you're writing and you missed it deliberately. I said it is dangerous to hear the truth and then lie to yourself that what you're hearing is not true. At some point, you'll see that you need some ferrohic treatment to change your mind. <laughs> Haven't you heard the testimony of so many people who got truly, now truly converted after all their chickens died or after arm robbers attacked them? <laughs> you see, when you're deceiving yourself, simple methods of communication no longer work with you. The pastor preaching, the pastor teaching, it doesn't work. Counseling doesn't work. Preaching doesn't work. Teaching doesn't work. Advice doesn't work. What may now work are the frogs and fr flies of Pharaoh. I don't know, but me, I don't want the frogs and the flies of Pharaoh. I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't know about you. Charlie, do you want the frogs and the flies of Pharaoh before you hear God? Before you become truly correct? Well, I, I don't want it. <laughs> so, beloved, I want you to know that lying, though it seems so harmless, it leads you to the place of hardening your heart self-deception and it will lead to distraction father we thank you for this truth that is revealed today in this morning dew use this truth lord to touch one of your children to make a permanent turnaround and change thank you holy spirit in jesus mighty name amen Amen. What a blessing. Beloved, I want you to do me a favor. Don't just share this on your Facebook wall. Share it on um, your status on WhatsApp. Not just your status on WhatsApp. Send it individually as links to somebody. Also on your Facebook Messenger. You have friends. You can share this video with them every morning. And I believe that they will be blessed beyond measure your day is blessed the lord my god keeps you the lord my god favor your cause and the son of righteousness is risen with healing in his wings for you the lord bless you i'll see you again in the next morning dew shalom